If speech originates in the left half of the brain, are there any functions special to the other half? Here, a split-brain subject provides the answer. As he tries to copy this pattern with blocks, we discover his ability is confined to his right half-brain. Now, let's remember that the left hand is governed from the right hemisphere, and you will see that he has absolutely no problem in solving the problem. When the patient tries to solve the problem with his right hand, which is governed from the left hemisphere, we find that he is not capable of doing it. Namely, that the right hand, which is governed from the left hemisphere, is intrinsically incapable of performing this kind of visual constructional tasks. It's interesting to note that the whole perspective is gone. He has three and one block combinations. It doesn't even square them up. As you can see, the left hand wants to keep helping the right and, and is interfering. Well, we've now seen that the left hand can perform the problem and that the right hand cannot. Now the question becomes, what happens when you allow both hands together to try to solve the problem? And what we find out is that they fight over each other. One hand knows how to do it and one hand does not, and so they more or less squabble. And the reason for this is that the, the hemispheres are disconnected. Now, the right hemisphere controls the left hand and the left hemisphere controls the right hand. And these are almost mutually independent systems. It was as if uh, two people were fighting over performing this task. One knew how and one didn't, and one would fight for dominance of the situation.